If you want to set the gains on your amp, but don't want to buy expensive equipment like the SMD DD1 or an oscilloscope, we're going to do a quick video showing you how to tune with just a simple multimeter. So hang out. Step number one, use the formula. E equals the square root of power handling times impedance. E stands for electromotive force or current. You'll need to get the square root of what the woofers can handle and multiply it by the end impedance. So let's say you have a sub that handles 500 watts and it's two ohms. So 500 times two equals 1000. Then you'll need to get the square root. So on your smartphone, use this button here and we get 31.62. Okay, screenshot that number because we're gonna need it later. Number two, set the radio volume. Now, if you're using the stock radio, set the volume between 75 to 80% max. If you're using a name brand radio like Alpine, JVC, Kenwood, or Pioneer, you can set it closer to 90%. We want the point right before the head unit starts to clip. Now, the proper way is to play a test tone and hook up an oscilloscope or a DD1 to the output of the radio and turn it up until you find distortion. But if you don't have access to those tools, then this is what you can do and still be somewhat effective. Number three, find your test tone. Go to Kicker's website and under this tab, click support. You can get a 50 Hertz zero dB test tone. Number four, setting it all up. So take your target number, set your radio volume and get your test tone ready. Now make sure your car is running when you do this. So take your meter and set it to this voltage setting. Or if you have a meter like this, make sure you set to AC and take your meter ends and put it into the speaker output of the amplifier. If you're using an amplifier with a bass boost, start with the gain all the way down, the crossover off, the bass boost off or all the way down, and if you have a subsonic filter, also set that to off. If you have a subwoofer volume on an aftermarket radio and it controls attenuation, then set the sub volume to max on the radio. And step number five, tuning the amp. Again, set your meter to the setting and turn up the gain until you get to your target number. And that's it. Okay, let's do it again, but now for mids and highs. Let's say your speaker handles 50 watts and it's four ohm. So 50 times four is 200 and the square root is 14.4. Make sure to screenshot that. Now set the volume on the radio, 75 to 80% on the stock radio, closer to 90 if it's an aftermarket. Go to the kicker site, but select 1000 Hertz at zero dB instead of 50 Hertz. Insert the leads into the speaker output of the amp, gain down, crossover off, bass boost off, set the meter to the setting, and then turn the gain up until you hit your target number, which in this case is 14.4, or as close as you can get. Okay, it's that simple five easy steps to tune your amplifier using just a multimeter. Okay, hope that helps guys. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. All right, thanks for watching.